Lamella Ball is the third son of the crazy and iconic LeVar Ball. Or is he? What's good y'all? Hope you're having a blessed day. Just wanted to drop by and say we're on the road to 100,000 subscribers. So if you're new to this channel and love basketball content, what are you doing? Join the family. Hit that subscribe button and leave a like for more. And without further ado, let's dive straight into it. Okay, first things first. Before we even get into it, I gotta state this. This is strictly a conspiracy theory video. I've done a couple of these before and you guys tend to love them, so I thought, hey, why not do another? Also too, with this being a conspiracy theory type of video, I'm gonna have some facts to try to back up what I say. Well, not really facts, but conspiracies, you get the point. By no means am I saying any of this is true, but you gotta admit it's interesting to think and talk about. I do gotta say, this is going to be probably the most interesting and video I've ever done on my channel, so let's get into it. To start things off, we got LeVar. Now, we all know LeVar, he's an outgoing person. He's not the humblest guy out there and he speaks what's on his mind. To say the least, he has a very unique personality. But here's the thing, his personality doesn't quite match LaMelo's. Or vice versa, however you want to say it, LaMelo's doesn't match his. Here's one example I'm going to talk about. When Lonzo was going into college in the NBA, he was like, hey, I'm just going to roll with whatever my dad says. And the same thing went for LiAngelo. LiAngelo and Lonzo both have trusted their dad's quote unquote process and it's ultimately failed them. On the other hand, LaMelo Ball has spoken up against his father and he's been right most of the times. When LaVar Ball made a statement on what LaMelo should do, here's what Melo said. Quote unquote, at the end of the day, what comes out of his mouth, that's him. He's a grown man. Also adding to that, and what comes out of my mouth is for me because I'm a grown man too. That's just one of the most recent examples of how LaMelo and LaVar are not on the same page and LaMelo chooses his own path. That's not the only example, there's been so many, it's hard to count, and I'm gonna list the most important ones. Also, a pretty recent one, if you think about it, was that Melo decided not to sign with BBB, and he signed with Puma. Once again, there we have it, he's going against LeVar, who's his dad. When you really think about it, like I said, it's more ironic than you think, because LiAngelo and Lonzo were both on plan with their father. And any other time LeVar has said something, and they've asked LaMelo about it, all he says is, I'm my own man, and I speak for myself. Then there was the time going into the draft where his father was saying who the best team for him was and LaMelo was like, I know what's best for me, my dad doesn't. So you get the point. I don't have to list too many more examples to show you why that LaMelo and LaVar are not on the same page. LaMelo chooses his own path while his dad tries to choose a path for him. This is the first time too in LaVar's dad coaching career, I guess you could say, where one of his sons has went against him. At first, Alonzo was on board with LaVar and the same thing for Leandro and look how they turned out. Leangelo didn't make it to the NBA and Lonzo so far is pretty much a bust. Then once again on the other hand you have LaMelo who doesn't listen to his dad and does his own thing and he's up for rookie of the year. I know what you're sitting there thinking and you're wanting to say, yo Matt this is a stretch and yes I do 100% agree but it's interesting. You see most times 99 or even 98% of the kids they're going to listen and follow what their dad says. They're going to ask them for advice and not only ask them but take it and go with them. And with this family being very and I mean very close it's kind of surreal and weird that LaMelo doesn't do what his dad says. To go along with all this too, it's been reported that LaMelo and his dad haven't been on great talking terms in a while. As to why that is and what's going on, I don't know why and I don't even know if that's 100% true. Once again, going back to the personalities, the strange thing is that LaVar is mostly a troll. He never really takes anything serious and that's not a bad thing and as long as he's happy, it is what it is. For LaMelo though, it's completely different. The older he gets, the more mature he gets and he's under 20 years old. When it comes to legit basketball interviews, he's very humble and he doesn't troll at all. It's like he has that dry humbleness and humor to him. You gotta really understand me to know what I'm trying to say. LaVar and him just don't match personality wise. LaVar is more on the big ego and cocky side and LaMelo, even though he does play games at times, he is pretty serious. All this doesn't add up because when you look at a father and a son, it's normally a spitting mirror image. For these two though, it's not the same. So so it leaves us with the question of today, is LaMelo Ball actually LaVar's son? To answer that question, I know y'all are going to be curious as to what I have to say. I think the answer is yes. I find it odd the way they act, it's not the same in any ways whatsoever though. But hey, who knows, there could be something going on behind the scenes that we don't know about. 
Let me know in the comment section what you think down below because I'm very curious. But hey man, with all that being said, that's gonna wrap up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the conspiracy. Hope you guys learned something. If you're new to the channel, what are you doing? Join the family. Hit that subscribe button and leave a like for more. And as always, let's be great. I'm out, y'all. Peace.